Hi, this is Chris, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, a few of the techniques that I've been doing with my uh, LED upgrades with the uh, 612J steam that I uh, acquired not too long ago. Uh, it's a nice MTH piece. The uh, electronics are inside the engine. As you can see here, uh, this is a 5 volt board. It has everything, the smoke unit. Uh, what I intend to do is remove this front piece here, the light, and install a uh, LED headlight. And I'm going to install these uh, LEDs here that are uh, like an amber yellow. And these are the long stem types that uh, will slip right into the, uh, the marker spot pretty simply. Uh, you might have to over drill a little bit but it's not too bad. Uh, what I've done with the shell here is I've drilled the side out through the shell itself as you can see here. I have drilled this out down deep uh, so it comes out uh, clearly on both sides inside the shell. What I'll do is bore it out a little bit and then I'll uh, insert the, uh, the LED in there so it, uh, it lights up the entire marker uh, itself. So it should be worthwhile. Uh, I've taken the nose off of the, the J itself and you can see the uh, it's like the plastic insert that MTH puts in there to light up uh, the number boards for the light and the marker. So uh, what I'll do is I'll insert one of the LEDs straight into there and it, uh, it's pretty intense bright and I'll demonstrate that afterwards once I get all the lights installed. Uh, a couple things that I've ordered a bunch of uh, white LEDs. There's about three or about three, about 200 in here. Uh, I've ordered, uh, those all came from Lighthouse LEDs. Uh, I've gotten these resistors. This is a 220 ohm quarter watt uh, resistor and uh, that's that's for the, uh, the electronics for the MTH. Uh, you want to use a resistor like that. I got this uh, Kynar copper core wire. It's Teflon coated. It's very thin. It's just like the stuff that Evans sells. It's very thin like that. And uh, I like I, I, I love L the LEDs from Evans, uh, but I don't necessarily need. Uh, that type of light that they supply, I, I wanted to get these types. So I'm building my own LEDs. You can see here the long stem. You can get these off of eBay very easily. Uh, there's virtually uh, nothing you can't get on eBay anymore. But uh, that's, that's my project for now on the J. Uh, some of the other things I'm going to install. You can see the port inside which I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate you can see there is a cab light spot on the upper part and then there's the firebox light I'm gonna try to put in my flickering firebox light setup but it's pretty pretty tight these spots in here don't give you a whole lot of room uh, to put. They do have a light there, which what I might do is do a very small kind of contraption that'll uh, fit as you need uh, to build the circuit. What I might do is try to sneak it in the corner by the engine, wrap it around here, and put it on here rather than the shell, and just let it flicker. Uh, using the existing uh, mounting bracket that MTH uses for their firebox light. So I thought 
I'm going to create something like that, and uh, that way you can tuck it in the shell without any issues. And then it's part of the engine itself. Uh, one thing I might do with the wiring is uh, put a clip so my my uh, markers and the headlight will all be part of the uh, original wire clip that the headlight lead goes to which is right here. I'm going to reuse that wire set up to go to here uh, to the headlight inside the shell. Then I'll just unplug it and then I can work on the engine if I have to without messing with the shell or having the shell like right next to the engine because that gets to be a pain if you're working on it. Uh, so that's some of the things I'm going to do. Uh, eventually this 5 volt board will probably go uh, kaputs at some time and I'll probably be doing a PS3 upgrade. Uh, this is actually what I can do is take this PS3 stacker board that I recently purchased. This is for a different engine but these will fit nicely right inside here. Uh, the only thing you have to change out is the speaker and that was part of the kit that I received. Uh, the mounting bracket and uh, the speaker itself. And for the PS3 upgrade I am not uh, opening this until I have to because there is static issues. I don't want to mess with that uh, until I have to. So, uh, that's it for now. The only other thing I've recently purchased uh, off of actually Amazon is the Starbond. Uh, this is the uh, Cyacrylic uh, Super Glue. That, uh, this is a super fast drying, and then I have the other kind. Uh, I have both types. So, I use this when I'm doing the wiring inside the shells to hold everything together. So that's it for now and I'll talk to you soon.